is April 25th and it is about, I would say, 2 p.m. around there, I think. I'm not sure. But um, I am doing the first vlog of the day today, right now. Um, we had an issue with the tent, as you saw in the last vlog, if you're watching our vlogs. Um, we lost some tent poles and we were unable to um, we were unable to set up a tent and it was raining cats and dogs and we were like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? So we decided we're gonna have to just move forward and go to the, the next shelter, which was Carter Gap Shelter, I think, mm -hmm. right? So we went to Carter Gap Shelter and um, it wasn't night yet, but it was, it was full. The shelter was full um, and we told them the situation and they said, you're more than welcome to sleep on the ground in here because there's a you know, roof over the ground. Um, and we're like, hey, we'll take it. We're just happy we're out of the rain and we're going to be dry and this and that. So we slept on the ground. We put our pads on the ground and our sleeping bags and we slept on the ground all night, which was fine. We were not complaining. Um, anyway, so the next day we had to zero at the shelter, which means take a break all day long at the shelter and not do any hiking till the next day. Um, so we scrambled onto the platform of the shelter where the mate, where the people, where the people sleep, you know, when everybody left and we zeroed there all day long and, um, hung things out to dry and everything else. So, um, eventually we were just sitting there and people would come every so now and then and eat their lunch or eat their dinner, you know, and not stay, but they were just passing through, you know, some hikers. And this one hiker came through and my phone was about to die. And we started chatting a little bit and he's like, I recognize you guys from YouTube. And I was like, oh, you do? And he's like, yeah. He's all, do you want to charge your phone on my anchor? Mine's completely charged and go ahead and charge your phone. And I was like, okay. So he gave us um, his anchor to use for a while until he was done with lunch or whatever he was doing. And we chatted for a while. And, um, and so I got half of a charge from that. So I was very thankful. I was like, thank you so much. And he's like, um, okay, well, um, nice seeing you guys or nice to meet you guys. And I was like, nice to meet you too. So then he left and went on his way and um, I had a little bit of charge left, thank goodness, from that. But anyway, long story short, today we were going to have to walk 12.2 miles to get to this gap, which was Rock Gap, to, to get to a shuttle, which is $3 a person. Um, and But the last shuttle was going to be at 3.45 p.m. and there was probably no way we were going to make it over, what mountain was that? That mountain, Albert Mountain, Albert mountain by 345. Um, because, you know, it's going to be a steep mountain and, you know, whatever. You know, we're just, we're like, I don't think we're going to make it, you know. And we're really extra tired today and stuff like that. Um, anyway, long story short, we are walking and this guy's just standing there and he's listening to music. And he's a, he's a through hiker as well. And I was like, um, excuse me, um, do you have a phone that works? Because I, need, I needed to call my daughter to make sure that we made, she made the reservations here because my daughter made a couple nights of a reservation here at this Budget Inn Hotel. Um, and then I'll just pay her back on the first, you know, when I get my pay. And because um, we're waiting for the new tent poles, which my sister-in-law and my brother are sending through Amazon Prime. So I'm like, okay, let's hope it comes fast. So we're going to be here for a couple nights. And so he's like, well, I don't have signal here, but I heard that there was trail magic. Somehow he heard that there was trail magic ahead. And I was, he's like, if there's still trail magic, maybe you can get a ride into Franklin or maybe some of the workers that are on the trail can give you a ride. And I guess he talked to like, after he knew we were, um, our situation, I'm kind of flip flopping the story a little bit, but, um, after we talked originally, he had talked to some of the workers and they said, well, if she waits around with the kids, maybe when they're done, you know, they can take them into town. But anyway, I'm not, I'm jumbling the story a little bit, but anyway, so we had trail magic. We had fruit, pineapple, strawberries, bananas. There was oranges. There was orange juice, coffee. I mean, I didn't drink the coffee. Ethan did and Richie did, but, um, there, it was just amazing. Like, when you're through hiking on the Appalachian Trail and you're eating tuna all the time and top ramen for the boys as well as tuna and peanuts and like just different things like that and snicker bars and like you don't realize how much you miss 
fresh fruit. So it was so amazing to have the fresh fruit and it was just like a piece of heaven. That's what it felt like, a piece of heaven. So anyway, I'll show you a picture. This is Rodney and um, his table set up with us with the Trail Magic. So then we had the Trail Magic and everything and we told Rodney our situation and he thought about it for a while and he decided he was gonna drive us on the back road and his wife was gonna meet us on the main road um, to take us the rest of the way to the budget inn. And um, so that was amazing. Um, he, he packed everything up after some of the hikers, some of the other through hikers ate and stuff. And, and uh, Richie sat in the back of the truck, which is fine, it was just a back road. And um, me and Ethan sat up front and we got to where his wife was and we put everything in the, the car and um, him and his wife is amazing as well. Her name is Mary. Her trail, trail name is Mother Mary. <laughs> and because um, they do like day hikes and stuff like that. And anyway, so we, Mary took us, you know, the rest of the way. We thanked Rodney and um, he also offered to give us a ride back to the gap where we were at, where he did the trail magic and took us off the trail so we can continue our hike and not skip any part of the trail because we don't want to skip any part of the trail. We want to through hike a hundred percent. So anyway, he offered, I said, we can give you gas money and everything. And he's like, no, 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 no gas money. I want you, to, I want to help you. And I was like, thank you. So anyway, long story short, she's taking us and driving us and she shows us, you know, different parts of the city. We stop and she shows us this, um, well, first Rodney showed us this waterfall. And then Mary showed us this beautiful, beautiful view of the valley. It was utterly amazing. Here's a um, little clip of it now. Anyway, so wonderful people, nice conversation. Um, told us a little bit about the town, and it was just amazing. We're, we're now at the Budget Inn Hotel, and I'll show you around. So we've got a little mini fridge here, a microwave, a mirror, a place to hang things, table and chairs. There's two beds. That's going to be Ethan and my bed. That's going to be Richie's bed. A nice window to the street. Decent bathroom. I mean, it's an old-fashioned place, but it's doable. It's, it looks clean and and uh, a nice shower. We can have a hot shower. So we're really, we're really excited about this. Hey guys, so we are doing laundry here at Budget Inn, and we can't leave it unattended. It says it's the wash cycle is about 20 minutes, so we have to sit here for 20 minutes. Richie's with me. Ethan's in the room. He knows not to open the door for anyone. We have the key. I look like a zombie. I didn't put makeup on today. I'm so tired. I didn't sleep good last night. So that's probably why I was extra tired walking today, hiking today. I was so tired and then I didn't drink a lot of water yesterday because I didn't want to have to pee all night because I tend to have to pee like two or three times a night. And I'm like, I don't want to have to pee all night. But anyway, I need to take a shower after we wash this, put it in the dryer. Then we're going to, um, take showers and do a second load of laundry. We have two loads to do, the ones we're doing now and then the ones we're wearing. So, that's all that's happening today so far besides the clip I showed you before. So, I got the kids pizza. I had a couple slices of pizza as well. I know I shouldn't have the gluten, but, or the fattening stuff on it, but, it's hard to be picky when you're out here and I know that I should be more picky because for my health and stuff but I think every now and then maybe it won't hurt <laughs> but anyway it's not for any other reason but health health reasons but it's hard it's hard out here on the trail when you see like trail magic and there's like buns with the hamburgers and stuff like that it's like oh you want a bun so bad and they don't have gluten free because not everybody's gluten-free, not many people are, so the majority of the people are not, so. 
Anyway, we'll touch base later.